Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. All right, so in our last episode, we started the construction of our um, living quarters, and then we had to deal with yet another fucking crashed ship part again. I think this is the fifth time that we've had a, a crashed ship part, um, and in the uh, ensuing onslaught, um, we lost our geothermal generator. But thankfully, we got back a lot of um, components from various mining and uh, a little bit of trade here with the non-technologist uh, nation of Reusia who came by. But anyways, um, so the living quarters is starting to shape up a little bit, which is great. Um, really looking forward to this thing getting set up so that we can then not worry about uh, where finding new place for our, our colonists to live. And we also actually, let's get rid of the roofs over our Tunnels of Death. And speaking of Tunnels of Death, we've actually managed to uh, build all of our tunnels out, I think. Let's try to get rid of anything else. There you go. Hmm, it's not ideal that there's an overhead mountain there, but that's fine. And we have actually drilled all that out. Great. So let's move this thing over here, I think? Didn't we try this area out? I think we tried this area out and it was steel or something. Let's try this area and see what's underneath. Okay, and then let's start actually constructing the rest of our stuff here. And we'll be sure to build the inner part of the wall first. Yeah, we're gonna make it double thickness because it helps us uh, maintain our temperature a little easier. Except for these parts. We'll build uh, doors and shit on, on those ends, I think. That'll be good. Nice. Actually, if we're doing that, then we might as well just get the double thickness um, thing going on from the very get-go. Because we don't need to worry about anyone being trapped in there or anything. Wild boar is pregnant. Fantastic. When aren't they pregnant? And we'll just get the power conduits all just going through everywhere. Just as like a kind of like redundancy, fail-safe kind of thing, just in case, you know, something goes kablooey or blows up and shit, and then we need to replace it. This way it makes it a little easier, I think. Possibly? Maybe? Maybe not. But whatever, it's fine. It's all good. Um, what else? So we managed to actually harvest all our corn, which is nothing short of a miracle. I think that's the first time we've actually managed to um, harvest the corn out. Wait, what happened to this Devil Strand? Did these get eaten? I'm assuming some of our animals ate these things. Fucking savages. Actually, I think it may have been the animals that aren't part of a colony here. Can we also get this uh, wooden wall built here, guys? I know it's still indoors, but it's a little strange that this building is missing a corner piece. Mm. More cargo pods. 12 things of lavish meals. Wow, what the hell? That is some insanity. Oh my goodness. They're not even bothering to move these into our colony. No, they're just eating them straight off the ground. Filthy degenerates. Holy shit. Okay, guys. Stop hunting. I want you to actually start building out the, uh, the generator here, Lister. That's going to be our top priority, considering that we need to... Yeah, otherwise I think we're going to... Well, we're actually doing a good job of maintaining our temperature. Sorry, maintaining our um, our energy level. And yeah, we should turn off our coolers, except for the ones in our freezers. And then... Yeah, get the heat on and shit. Fantastic. I'm really looking forward to this place becoming something else. I'm not quite sure what we would set it up as just yet, but I feel like maybe it should be like a workshop area. I'm thinking we will get the uh, hospital area up north here, have it connected to the uh, to the, the living quarters. Yeah, that might be a good idea. But actually, maybe we'll have it set up over here instead, next to the uh, greenhouse, because otherwise. I think we might need to set up some defenses over here. 
yeah, if we're gonna do that, then we need to um, make sure that the hospital's right next to there. Uh, sorry, not right next to the uh, area where our enemies would come in. Wait, what's happening with these trees? They're just disappearing. Whoa, really? What the hell? I guess they just die from the lack of sunlight. <laughs> wow, I had no idea that was a thing, but there you go. And nice, we managed to um, rebuild the geothermal generator. Of course, it took some uh, um, components. And speaking of components, I think we might owe some of our colonists some new body parts. Like, we should try to get Marakalos a new left eye. So we'll cra cra craft a bionic eye. And that'll be from the light receptor. So that's one. Lumi doesn't need or want bionics. Vanthus, nope. Miwino, maybe we, can, we can't we can get him a new neck or a new torso. So never mind. Ixe, we might need to get him a new uh, right leg. So let's get a simple prosthetic leg as well as a bionic leg set up. Strong is good. Sv, a left ring finger. I'm thinking instead of an entire left arm, we should go for a bionic hand. And that, I believe, requires a prosthetic hand. That makes sense, right? So that's the uh, Maxwell right arm and right big toe. Oof. Huntsman is good. Nighthawk, left arm and left hand. Let's just make a new uh, left arm from scratch. That's good. And then Lyra, left arm. It's just scratch scar, isn't it? What the shit? Arctic wolf. Fucking killing our little piglets. What an asshole. Sorry, wait, who needs treatment? Nighthawk needs treatment. For what? For his anxiety? Well, I don't know what... How, how to treat your anxiety, Nighthawk. But, I guess, I don't know. We'll give you all the support that you need, or whatever? I don't... I don't understand. I don't know. I mean, I know how to, you know, deal with anxiety and stuff in real life, but, uh, in-game is, I'm sure, a different matter, right? Okay, let's get the corn out of the elements. Because I think it's starting to go bad. Otherwise, the rice is fine, even though it's not refrigerated. That's cool. The hay will last a long time, but actually we should probably get the hay. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Never mind. Don't do this hay first. No, do this hay first. Yeah, we should definitely get this hay out of here and into our Orwell's farm. Nice. Okay, so where where was I? I was talking about some shit and then I got distracted. Um, Body parts, right? Was that it? Was that what, what I was talking about? Nighthawk, we need to get you a new left arm. I think that's already being set up, right? And Lyra, maybe. McNeil is fine. So yeah, we're going to be making some more bionic parts here and there. Um, but... Uh, I mean, it is a bit of a risk, though. Because we'll be using a lot of components and shit for these things. But I guess it is worth it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so the living quarters are starting to really take shape. Fantastic. And I think now would be a good time to order the uh, carpets to be set in, too. Kind of thinking that we should just do red, green, blue, cream, and dark. Let's just do that, yeah. And then we'll have the other side going from, you know, the other way around or whatever. That's the reds. Red. Those are the greens. So things will look all mixed and matched and whatever, if that makes any sense. Blues will be in the center. I guess blues will be in the center for everyone. Huh. Okay, well, fine. And then cream on the other side. Nice. And over there, too. Wait, wait, wait. What's happening here? Granite tile. No. Why is there granite tile being built here? Absolutely not. No, man. What's wrong with you? I didn't tell you to make uh, granite tiles there. What the shit, man? 
Jeez. Bunch of numbskulls. And then let's get the dark carpet. Set up on the very ends there. That's good. The outside will be uh, wooden flooring. Wait, do we not have enough wood? Are you serious? Oh my god, we used up all our wood? Holy shit. I guess this project took end up ended up taking a lot more wood than I imagined. Damn. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it'll be up to there. That's good. Oh shit, okay. So we need to start cutting down some more wood. We have a lot of fucking textiles, don't we? A lot of pigskin. Holy crap. More pigskin that we can ma handle. I think we should probably pray for a, um, a textile trader to come by sometime soon. So that we can uh, trade away some of our textiles here, which is taking up all our space. Crap. Hey, which textiles do we have the least of? Mega sloth wool, followed by camel hair, hyperweave, and devil strand. All this expensive stuff we'll keep for sure. I think it's also mostly the leathers. Yeah, the tiny little bits of uh, various leathers here and there that's taken up all our space. Oh man, really wish we had a more reliable um, orbital trader thing going on. Just waiting to be lucky to get the orbital traders to come in is really, I think, one of the uh, downfalls of, well, this entire game, I think. I mean, I could be wrong. and I might be alone in this sentiment, but I don't think so. I think a lot of people are also kind of like uh, iffy about the whole random orbital trader situation. But thankfully, we should also get a lot of um, wood from cutting down these trees here, so I think we're going to be okay. But that being said... If you guys could chop down these trees over yonder. You know what? Just cut these plants entirely. Just deforest this entire area here. And do we want to deforest all that too? Guess we might as well, right? Yeah. We don't want our um we don't want two trees too close to our colony. Because otherwise they might catch on fire and you know shit'll go down in a way that we don't want. Yeah, it's a lot of deforestation, but that's fine. Muffalo wool. What did I just say? I said we had way too many, um, fabrics and shit, and now they're going around dropping fucking muffalo wool on us. Unbelievable. It's like the gods are- It's like the game knows exactly what I'm saying. It's like fucking Skynet over here. It's listening to everything I'm saying and saying every time I say shit like, Oh, we have too many textiles. What does it give me? More textiles. Good grief. Thankfully, the carpet making is pretty fast. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but... Can we also get these made? Oh, right, we didn't set this up yet because... Uh, right. Okay, okay, I understand why this hasn't been set up yet. It's because of the deep drilling. So we need to get this thing um, set up somewhere else. So, Crichton, if you could please actually move the drill. That'd be great, man. Thank you. Okay, let's get the wooden door set up over here. Get the rest of the furniture all cloned away. Perfect. That too. Yeah, sorry, not that. Standing lamp is what I'm looking for. And the dining chair. Nice. Normal? Really? Is that all you can manage, Lister? Normal dining chair? Come on, man. Should be legendary at this point. Let's get the power conduits out from under here. These two. Yeah, th these should go for sure. Uh, except for... Don't destroy the furniture, okay? Just the power conduits. That's all I need to destroy. Get that unmade. Get that unmade. Fantastic. Okay, so I don't think we need to worry too much about the lack of wood. I'm fairly certain just um, cutting down all this crap uh, around our living area is uh, more than enough. This, maybe I should cancel all that. But then again, I think we're lacking a lot of wood, so maybe this isn't a bad thing. Apparently there is another round of uh, elections going on. Fantastic. Let's take a look here. 
mayoral election is being held in the Jupiter Mining Corporation. Some colonists there have announced their candidacy. So, Ayexi is running for mayor of Jupiter Mining Corporation. His platform is, number one, I will take the position seriously. Um, as you should. As mayor, I'll tackle our problems carefully. This colony is on the right track. I'm just a regular person like all of you. It's our responsibility to do, to do the right thing. But considering you're on the night crew, I don't know if you're the best candidate. Lister is finally running for um, uh, mayor or, or, or candidacy. He'll focus on what's practical. Any society is judged on the basis of how it treats its weakest members. Okay, the colony is on the right track. We need to address what's happening in the present. You need a leader that cares about his uh, uh, that cares about performance. Vanthus is running for mayor again. Uh, people in this colony come from all walks of life. Those who do not learn history are doomed to repeat it. Things are good, but they could be better. And we need f a facts-based approach to the issues. And he'll bring innovative solutions to the table. Okay. As long as your plans don't involve an excessive use of man-bats, I think we're going to be fine. Sve? Uh, need to be more mindful of each other. Need to look at things as they are. A society is only as strong as its most capable members. We have to do what it takes to survive. Everyone in our colony should be able to succeed. And Marakalos? Um, the mayor should ensure that every colonist is taken care of. Only good citizens deserve to be part of this colony. Whoa. Let's focus on what's practical and we need to gather... Sorry, we need greater support for free speech and we can create a bright future. Okay. Fantastic. Let's... I'm actually uh, very curious to see who the uh, mayor is going to turn out to be. <laughs> it's quite exciting. Okay, so we're starting to lay down the wooden floors, which is great, but I don't think we have any wood left in our storage. Actually, I did think that we might have too much wood, so this isn't a bad thing. Mad animal, okay, great. The wild boar's gone berserk, fantastic. And apparently it just stepped into one of our traps and has decided to just bugger off now. Good for you. Let's make sure that all of our traps are set to auto rearm. Nice. Hey, so is that board dead or is it just buggered off? Like it stepped into the trap and then it just kind of went away or something. I don't know. And what's with all these wild boars with cataracts? Seriously, do we, do we know what happened to the wild boar? Is it dead? Because it stepped into this trap, that very specific trap. And then now it just seems to have gone somewhere. I have no idea. Steel? I don't want steel, no. Plasteel, please. Okay, let's get this thing reinstalled over yonder. And I'm kind of tempted to see what's down here. Yeah. And the advantage of um, this little spot is that we don't actually need to uh, create any more power conduits and stuff. That's probably one of our wolves. Yep, Lakers, dazed and confused. It's pretty sad, but it is what it is. Oh shit, guys, there's a lot of, like, um, clothing here that we can probably take. Let's get these things urgently hauled away, please, if you don't mind. Yeah. That's good. Because we can break down the Devil Strand stuff and get some extra materials that way. Laker is confused again. I'm kind of wondering if maybe we should just put Laker out of his misery. I mean, it sounds terrible, but at the same time, it's like, you know, right? I mean, it's, it's, Laker's really old. And I don't know if, whoa. Huh. I didn't realize it, but I guess all our uh, puppies and stuff um, come pre-named or they're named as soon as they're born. Maybe that's just with all uh, canine type animals. Uh, Grizzly's okay. Our cow is... Whoa! This thing's a bull now. Good for you, bull. Holy shit. Yeah, that's about all we have. We have the wild boars as well, but... Uh, they mostly don't get renamed. Yeah, that's fine. It's only after they get nuzzled, I think, they get renamed. Okay, uh, we also have a lot of crap, I think. Like, a lot of, um... Old-ass shitty weapons. So I'm kind of wondering if we should try to sell these, like hold on to them and sell them, or should we just break them down? 
kind of thinking that maybe it's just better to break them down instead. And you know what, Lyra? Holy shit, man. I think Lyra has been busy um, making component parts and shit this whole time. That's awesome. Can we make sure that none of these tables are gathering spots, please? Yeah, no gathering spots on these tables. Please. I mean, these things are out in the middle of nowhere. You don't want to... Oh. What the hell? Oh, it got hunted by a timber wolf. I see. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate, but it does happen. And I think it's a little too cold for the devil strand to survive. Fuck me. I knew it. Let's get the devil strand all harvested. Crap. Same thing with the uh, A here. Actually, just do it this way. Let's do it this way. There. Just cut the plants. That's fine. Oof. Damn, I should have done this before. I should have realized that it's uh, harvest season. Damn. I don't think... Well, actually, some of them are decently grown. So we might be able to get some... Salvage some uh, out of this. But maybe not as much as I'd like. But that's fine. Yeah, we've got a lot of cloth, and it's not essential that we have, uh... Oh, shit. Um... Miwino, did you kill the bonded animal? I guess we did set that to be... a thing, right? Ah... Oh, shit, that's why. And apparently the wild boars have gone crazy? Oh, shit, Marakalos. Be careful, man. I don't want you to, um, to get some permanent injury like someone else did, I think. Or did they not? Okay, you can do it. No, Maraclos! Don't die! Please! No permanent injuries! Stop mailing them, man. You got a fucking, uh, um, whatchamacallit? An assault rifle. Just got him down. Just like that. a boy. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe! You're running for mayor! Don't let yourself die like this! Wait, I'm sorry, who needs rescue? Sva? Oh shit, because of the wild boars! Holy crap, holy! Okay, um... Lister? Actually, every one of you, get in over here. Miwino especially, we might need to have you unleash the, uh... The beasts. Nighthawk, stay safe, buddy. Stay safe, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Sva? Is bleeding out. Can you strong, please? Crichton, go home. Oh my god. These wild boars are insane. They're just going through the traps and getting killed and shit. Good grief. What the fuck was that? Did someone just get hit? What the hell's happening? Oh, Rimmer's being attacked by the wild boar. Crap. Uh, please don't shoot Rimmer. There. Okay, you guys actually shot Rim Rimmer, but alright, that's fine. Oh my goodness! Banthus, no. Banthus, no. Get over here. Lister, stop shooting. Or at least get closer before you start shooting. Okay, I think we're good. Good grief, guys. Jeez. <laughs> Crap. I guess that's kind of on me, but oh well. Oh my god, Arctic Wolf. Savages, man. These damn wild wolves are killing all our piglets and shit. We might actually need to take them out. Mm, there's not a lot of them. But yeah, let's hunt them down. Oh, damn. That's gonna suck for whoever has to hunt them. Actually, they should try to hunt these guys in the groups. Nighthawk. What a stupid thing to do! Not the best idea, Nighthawk. Nope. Should've waited for backup. But nope. Ah, oh, jeez. Really hope he doesn't end up with any scars. Oof. Damn. Yep. Bonded animal's death. Oh wait, that's Platy from before. Tattered apparel. Oh wait, shit, did we not set the thing properly? Okay, I think we might not have set the, uh... 
uh, working soldier thing. No, we, we did. I did. So why is Sva wearing tattered apparel? I can't say I understand what's going on. Okay, I guess he's taken off his tattered apparel. Okay, Sva. Oh, right. It's because he was uh, wounded and he had to be taken away. Okay, Sva. Why don't you re uh, equip your bolt action rifle? No. Let's have you uh, take the assault rifle. That's fine. There you go, buddy. Huntsman, I believe, requires a sniper rifle. So let's have you take the normal sniper rifle. Exotic goods trader. Fantastic. Lister, time for you to call up the uh, exotic goods trader and pray that they have a stock of components. They do. But they're very expensive. But thankfully, we also have a lot of crap that we can sell them, like the uh, sculptures and shit. Yeah, in fact, they owe us money now. Nice. Uh, let's also sell a lot of our... No, wait. I was kind of hoping that we could sell some of our crap here, like the textiles and shit, but... Damn it. We can't. That sucks. Hey, is there anything else that we can sell to make up some space? No, I don't think so. Ah, crapola. Alright, well, um, I guess that's it then. Got some components for an exorbitant price, but still, still components. Maracolos is unfortunately facing a major break risk. Why, man? Why are you so unhappy? Joy deprived? Well, go play on the billiards and shit, man. Come on. No, you just gonna rest? Alright, well, fair enough. Can we please, um, cut these devil strands? Before they all go to shit? Like, seriously. Cut them all down. Come on, guys. No? I'm also kinda sad that we don't have such a thing as a glass ceiling. Because imagine if you could have like a glass ceiling up here and we just need to maintain the temperature so that we don't have to have the sun lamps. Of course, that would make things a little too easy, I think, but still, could be kind of cool, no? Yeah, let's also, oh, it's election time. Okay. Is it actually happening or? I don't think it's actually happening though. I mean, we say it's election time, but it's doesn't seem like anyone's actually making any effort to vote or um, run the election or something. Okay, well, fine. Hey, so what's... Oh, wait, we don't know what's up there yet. Because we haven't moved it. Because apparently people are busy with other shit. Okay. Just gonna do a quick check in our medical tab. Uh, Alright, well, that's not great. So, cat... Okay, just... Let me just look at the manually, then. Well, remember, cat, Crichton, and Lister. No permanent injuries. Wow, I think we've been really lucky so far in that um, nothing bad has happened to any of our, um... Actual boys from the dwarf, knock on wood. But, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of dirt. Good grief. And I think pro um, progress on our living quarters has completely stopped because we don't have enough wood and shit. I guess people are busy with other stuff. But they don't even bother with uh, cutting down the wood and the trees. Actually, I am hearing some trees being cut down, but... Okay, no, no, Lumi's doing it. Is Lumi the only one? I feel like other people could really help out here, but... Maybe it's too daunting of a project. And if you could also cut down the uh, Devil Strand and hey, that'd be great, guys. Like, seriously. Like, I don't know what to say here, but just cut it down. Please? No? Okay, yeah, let's, let's do it this way, then. Again. Don't just cut it down. Harvest it. Thank you. Okay, so that actually shows me what can be harvested and what just needs to be cut down. Okay, well, that's that's cool. Maybe I just need to change the um, work priority on our guys here to make plant cutting the top thing. But actually, yeah, let's just do this. 
I think it's just because a lot of them don't really even have plant cutting as a uh, consideration. Cat? No, no, don't even bother. Ixe? Nah, it's fine. And everyone else is not capable of plant cutting. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Really wish I could set certain jobs to be a uh, top priority, but no, oh well. that's fine. I'm just busy be uh, laying down the carpets, which <laughs> I mean, I guess is kind of important, but it should be the last thing on their task here. But oh well. Holy shit, Lister! Some pretty damn fast uh, bed building there. As long as none of these are crap, they're normal and above, then we're fine. Can't tell. Superior. Are any of these... Oh, that one's poor. Well, I don't think that's going to be used for a little while, so I think we're fine. Do any of these have art on them? That's what I'm curious about. No, I don't think uh, Lister's managed to make anything that's art-worthy. Eh, that's fine. Alright, well, let's take a break here for now and come back tomorrow to, um, I guess, make more progress in our living quarters. Get a medical station set up as well, like a little uh, medi bay, and then I think we'll start making some more solar generators and whatnot. But maybe we should actually be concentrating on making the uh, ship parts instead. I think we've got enough uranium to get the ship engine as well as um, ship reactor and ship computer. Okay, we need more steel. That's fine. We can do that. Yeah, let's do that. So after we get this set up and the medi bay set up, we should get uh, get started on the um, the uh, the ship and stuff. I think that'll be good. All right. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast. <laughs> what a terrible outro! Thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.